Welcome back guys. We are squeezing in one more trip before the end of the year. It's currently December 30th, the day before New Year's Eve. Albert has installed a new device on the back. Right, Albert? Yes, sir. Help slow us down. What are we gonna yeah. do today? Troll. We're gonna troll for halibut. Let's go. We're gonna get it. More specifically, we're gonna ball bounce today. Last time we were on his boat, it was tough to keep the right speed for ball bouncing around this area. This time, you're looking at 1.8 miles an hour is the sweet spot, but at just barely in gear, this boat, his new baby, runs at about three miles an hour. Last time we tried to troll a little bucket to help slow us down, but today he has installed this easy troller, so we'll see how that does today. Basically what it does is when you pull this rope, boom, drops down and creates resistance to help slow the boat down. So it's not creating a lot of thrust because it's being stopped by this plate here. And then when we want to bring it up, you pull and then you lift it up just like that. The pressure of the water will. Yeah, you pull it and the pressure of the water will release it. Put the plug in. Put the plug in. Yeah, make sure. And then our, our buddy, our new buddy Richard is over there somewhere getting some squid. Oh, there he is. Getting some squid and uh, paying for the launch here. In a second, we'll be in the water and hopefully we get some halibut. If for the small reason we don't get any halibut, we'll end up rock fishing. And that's fun too. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Can you believe these guys just met? Watch, you guys will see, they're like best friends. <laughs> we just met, we're like, we know each other forever. Yeah. Your best friends are out there, you just haven't met them yet. It's a foggy one today. We're not gonna be zipping around. So the setup is basically giving credit to Daniel. He's the one who uh, put all these components together. It's basically a big, big hoochie, dodger, three-way swivel, and a three pound ball. And basically it just makes that bait swim. And all we do is stick that squid through the tip just like that. And we let her rip. We're gonna put the easy troller down? Yeah. Already? All right. Easy troller deployed. Put our bait down. Once again, this is what it looks like. Just like that. Don't even put the treble hook in. So that's what it should look like. Just back and forth like that. Once we get a little bit more speed, it'll continue to zigzag with a lot more movement. So I'm gonna let it down. I am on bottom. We need a new name for Albert's boat. Oh, what the? That was good, dude. Is it turning on by itself? Yeah, it's turning off. Maybe since it's such a low RPM, it doesn't like it. Yeah. Today's the 30th. So actually, Rockfish closes in two days. So we can actually halibut fish all year long and we already covered a lot of water. Like, look how much water we covered. We covered probably, looks like a mile and a half, two miles, nice and slow. Our bounce was really good. We did have a lot of rain. We had a lot of weather pattern interruptions since the last bite, which we did get one nice halibut, even if we weren't able to troll well. Our buddy got seven on that day. I'll leave a link to his video uh, at the bottom so you can check that out afterwards. His, uh, he's high tide and he kills it. And maybe this whole weather pattern system kind of messed things up. But again, it's gonna be time to rock fish here pretty soon. We covered again a lot of water. We feel good about how much water we covered and our effectiveness bouncing. But now it's just seeing if we can get that one more shallow water rockfish trip in. Albert's got his spinning setup all dialed in. 
getting his hookup baits tied up. So, looks like we're gonna rock fish, boys. We'll get your halibut on the next one, Rich. Right. No problem, man. I got, I got still confidence. A chance where we're gonna go fish. There's still a chance for the halibut, so it's just a different technique that we're gonna use. We're gonna use the hookup bait, so we're gonna, I'm gonna no, double them no. up. Ed, yeah, are you gonna double up or are you gonna. 100%. Yeah. So. Alright, let's get it. We got one more spot that we're passing for the halibut, and then once we're through with that, we're gonna stop but those marks are our marks from previous trips where we hooked up or daniel hooked up so once we're done with this line we're gonna skedaddle to the rockfish area what time are you up to yeah same old same old you know oh 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 that's a fish go 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 Yeah! Rich, you want to bring that one in? Oh man, we got bit! Yeah! Oh, is it a rock? Could be a rock. Or a big fish. No, it's not a rock. It's not a rock. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a big one. Yeah, baby. Bring it. Try to bring it to the either side. Leader. We're on leader. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I walk you back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's that gap? Hold on, hold on. Where did you start? Where'd you go? Alright. Hold on. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Go back. Go back. Go back. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Nice fish. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Mark the spot. You did it. Mark the spot, man. Yeah, I know where that There's is. One. There might be others. I know where that is. Well, there goes our uh, rockfish idea. <laughs> Second one on the boat for the real estate boat. Yeah. So Albert's calling his boat the real estate, and it's R E E L estate, real estate, because he's a realtor. <laughs> yeah. Hold it up, boss. So you could, uh, Richard's first halibut. First halibut. Turn around that way, boss. Right here. Sit on the back of the neck. Nice. Right. How was that? That was cool. It's tough. It's tough, huh? It's tough, right. yeah, it's tough man. <laughs> All right, for real this time, we're gonna rock fish. For real. Yeah, for real, for real. For real, for real. Ooh, red. Nice. There it is. Ate the brown and gold. It's a wet one, a wet one. There's a fish, good one. Good fish. Right after I said the storm, I think the storm's affecting them. We're over a really good rock right now. We're on that rock that's surrounded by sand. Oh, it's a double gopher. These are keepers today. Last day of rock fishing. We're keeping gophers today. It felt big because I had two. Oh, Johnny Bass. Is that a sand bass? Oh, it's a big old. 
Dude, it looks like a calico. Oh, I got a blue. <gasps> oh. oh, it's a brown. Huh? It's a brown. It's a brown? Yeah. No. No, huh? Uh -uh. Looks like a calico. There's a fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Red. Oh, that's dragging, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's a ling, huh? I hope so. Maybe. I just want to see you, bud. Oh, that's a ling. It is? That's a good ling. You want gas or you got it? You want to gas it yourself or yeah. you want me to go back to I got him. That's the ling we were looking for, baby. Yeah. That's what's up. Good gap, too. Yep. Right on the mouth. On the sardine hookup bait. The sardine one? Yep. That's a solid link hot right there, boys. Oh, that's what we wanted right there. I guess we had to we had to look into freaking 160 feet for them, <laughs> which is weird for December. You know, you would think you could get them shallow, but I guess they're shallow and deep. Or it was probably that storm that came through the last week. Pushed them back out. Really Pushed good. them out back out deep. I think. The lean king today. Uh, <laughs> one, one twenty-eight incher. Just lucky. What I do is I sweep it all like really high and then let it drop. Mm. I think when the water is clear like this, they could see it fall and then they come and attack it. Mm -hmm. And then next time you lift your rod tip, it's like setting the hook. Oh, there's a fish. Yep. Yep. Double hook up. Decent size, I think. He's trying to pull. A red would be nice. Oh, it's another ling. Shorty? No. No, good one? Yeah. Uh, uh, I can probably lift him, maybe. No, 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 no. He's hooked good. Yeah, he's good. Nice. Hey, told you the ling. Nice. <laughs> He swallowed that one too, huh? Yeah. 
Limits of Link Cod. Yes. End the year. This episode definitely shows that you never know what's gonna happen when you go out there and you film your fishing. We didn't get the halibut that we thought we were gonna get. The trolling plate did make it harder to steer, which next time we will definitely try the buckets and or we did get a suggestion in the comments of the last video that we can actually cut a notch so that instead of sticking 90 degrees to the prop, you could actually stick it to 45 degrees. So we'll show that in a future episode, but thank you Tony Knust for sharing that info. Definitely gonna try that, but next time we go halibut fishing, bounce balling, we're gonna try doing that 45 degree and have the buckets ready as well. Based on how we troll at Kachuma, those buckets definitely do help and it's still pretty easy to steer. But again, just saying, we don't know what's gonna happen. This happened. Put the baits again? Yeah. yeah. Oh. You all right? Yeah. <clears throat> So Richard got hung up on the bottom and he had like 60 pound braid and he was trying to remove it from the snag. Line snaps, throws him into me and get this, we're on a narrow boat. So there was not much forgiveness. The whole boat tipped and fortunately we all stayed dry, but that was pretty funny. And nothing much happened after that. We just got up, shook it off, and uh, it was all good. Didn't want to give him too much of a hard time after that. But that concluded our rock fishing season. Again, that was filmed January 30th. We're currently experiencing a lot of rain right now, so I don't quite know when the next time I'm going to be able to go fish. But I did come up with a list of about 30 ideas in terms of videos, and then a lot of them I don't need to be fishing, it's more how-tos, um, knot tying, and other things. So if you guys have suggestions on what you guys want to see in 2023, definitely leave it in the comments below. But 2022 was definitely an amazing season. We saw so many different species and we learned a lot on how to catch them and now that allows us to capitalize moving forward. Uh, if you guys want to see what we do monthly, we do have playlists listed below. If you want to see what we were catching previous years, you can look at our January, our February, our March, April, and so on, all throughout the year. For example, right now, it is January. If you want to see what we are doing in February, definitely check that out just so you can plan accordingly, see what species are out there, whether it's fresh, salt, on a boat, on the shore. You guys can check those out. So. Based on that, this trip was awesome. We really had quite an amazing day, even if it was rainy. Got a limit of link cod on deck, got some nice rockfish. We ended up getting that halibut in the beginning and it was Richard's first. So ultimately, it was definitely a huge success. With that being said, hopefully this video helped you out if you're looking to go out and do the same things that we did on this trip. And as mentioned a few moments ago, we're gonna go ahead and leave a link right here to the February playlist so that you guys can see exactly how we started moving out of this kind of winter period into the spring and what we were doing during that month. And again, leave it in the comments below what you guys wanna see for 2023. We'll catch you on the next one.